any novice can throw bacon on top of a burger and call it a bacon burger, but Ashley's no novice, and today she's gonna show us how to put bacon inside the burger. I sure am. So we tried many different things. So we started with this most simple thing first, and that was to chop up some raw bacon and incorporate it into the ground beef, make a patty, and eat, right? Mm -hmm. See, it sounds pretty simple. simple. Turns out by the time we got the bacon evenly dispersed in the ground beef, it was overworked. The ground ah. beef was too tough. So then we tried the opposite. We tried cooking bacon first, dispersing it through the ground beef, but mm -hmm. then it was like super pebbly and crunchy. It'd be like bits. a bacon bits burger. Yeah, which sounds kind of good, <laughs> but it wasn't perfect. And we were striving for perfection. So what we ended up doing was finding a way to process the bacon, and ah. that's with a little help from our good friend, Mr. Food Processor. And you don't have to cut the bacon first before you put it in there? Nope, whole is all you need. Process this for one minute until a smooth paste forms. Mmm, that looks interesting. It does look interesting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now we are going to cook this bacon over medium heat for about five minutes. And the bacon's still going to be pink at that point. That's a good thing. You only want some golden brown spots. You don't want to take it to the point where it's super brown and you think it's done, because at that point it's going to be too crunchy in the burgers. All right, so par cooking the bacon. So as you can see, we do have some golden browning just in some of the spots, mm -hmm. but the rest of it is still pink. Mm -hmm. Looking better. Looking better. So I have a fine mesh strainer set over this bowl, and using my spatula, I'm gonna slowly pour the bacon and that liquid gold grease into the strainer. So I'm gonna set that aside because I need to prepare an onion. We're gonna be caramelizing some onions to mm, put on our- onion burger. Bacon burgers, exactly. I'm just gonna trim the root end right there. Slice this right down the center. By trimming the sides first, you have a really nice stable workspace. And there are a few different ways to slice an onion. We wanna do pull to pull. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my knife parallel to the board. And you have these lines, these striated lines, and I'm gonna use them as a guide and just follow them around the onion. And when it gets a little wobbly, I turn it over just so it's nice and secure on the board. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm gonna set this pan over medium heat one more time. And here we have our drained mm. bacon. So I'm gonna grab this plate that I went ahead and lined with some paper towel. And then we should have about two tablespoons of bacon fat. All right, so the bacon fat is now shimmering. It's time to add the onions. We're actually gonna take these for about 20 minutes until the onions are nice and well browned. Mm. I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt. All right, so 20 minutes over medium heat. Yep. Well, things are definitely looking up. All right, so I am just gonna take these, transfer them to this serving bowl here for later. And now we have our beef. One and a half pounds of 85% lean ground beef. Okay, so that was one and a half pounds of beef and eight ounces of bacon. So that's a three to one ratio of beef to bacon. Yes, that's right. So let's season the beef. We have an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper. And you'll notice I have it on a rim baking sheet, mm -hmm. which is a little different, but this is the best way for us to incorporate everything evenly into the beef. Without overworking it. Because exactly. overworked beef makes a tough burger. So here, I'm going to add our par-cooked bacon. Now, a couple forks. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use these forks instead of my hands, and that's one more way of not overworking the beef. And I'm just gently tossing the salt, the pepper, and that bacon in with the beef. All right, now one last step before we go outside. <laughs> we need to make these look a little bit more like a burger, don't you yep. think? Yep. So I gently put them into four mounds. Mm -hmm. So they're about the same size. Yep, same size. And again, not overworking that meat. And then from here, you kind of gather it with your two hands. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna shape them. We're going for four and a half inches by three quarters of an inch thick. Okay, uh, I'm good. at three quarters of an inch thick. Let's see, yeah. uh, you're pretty good. All right. These are almost done. We are gonna do the remaining two, but mm -hmm. we do need to put a divot into the center the of the burger. When you put a divot in, when it goes onto the grill, that divot fills in and you get a flat burger. If you didn't put a divot, you'd come out with a softball. Just about a quarter of an inch. All right, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna just continue to make these burgers and it's time to head out to the grill. All right. So the grill has been heating on high for 15 minutes, and now it's time to oil and clean the cooking grate. All right. Ooh, that's a hot grill. You can hot see the heat grill. coming off the grill grate. 
Now this grill looks pretty clean, but oftentimes, like if it's in my backyard, the grill is a lot dirtier than that. And it's much more effective to clean the grill right, right before you start cooking while it's good and hot than when it's cold. All right, so using this wad of paper towels and these long grill tongs, just gonna dip this in some oil, a nice neutral oil, canola oil, and run it over the grates, and that helps to create a non-stick surface. There's nothing worse than a sticky grill. Mm. It's almost time to put these burgers on. I'm gonna just sprinkle them with a bit of pepper just before we put them onto the grill. All right, so you notice I have the divot side up, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna flip them divot side down. So I'm gonna cook these until nice and well browned. Uncovered will take about three minutes. Time to flip. All right. So here I have four ounces, which is one cup of chilled and crumbled blue cheese. So let's talk about those divots one more time. The divots were little perfect teacups that are gonna house <laughs> the crumbled and chilled blue cheese. So I'm gonna do about a quarter cup per patty. All right, that's pretty clever. Fill the divots with Thank cheese. You. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna cover the grill and continue to cook these until they register 125 degrees for medium rare or 130 for medium, which will take about two minutes longer. All right, so it's been two minutes. Let's check the temperature. Again, we're looking for 125 degrees for medium rare and mm. 130 for medium. I hope you're going for medium rare. I am. Awesome. Oh, perfection. All right. Here, I'm gonna bring the platter closer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm gonna let these patties rest just for a few minutes, but while I do, I'm gonna toast the bun. Yes, what's a burger without a toasted bun? Right? And the buns go fast. They just take about 30 seconds to exactly. a minute. Exactly, yep. All right, let's get these buns off. This looks amazing. Thank you. Let's go eat. All right. Ooh. Ashley, these look amazing. I'm so excited. All right, no more talking, let's get eating. All right. I'm gonna grab a bun. Oh yeah, baby. Oh. Mm. Oh. Don't uh, don't skimp on the onions on top. Okay. Because we're not gonna put ketchup or mustard on this burger. It's too beautiful, and it wouldn't go with the blue cheese. The onions take the place of any other condiment. This looks like what I call a shirt killer. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Mmm. <laughs> Whoa. The bacon is in every bite, but it's not overpowering. Mm -mm. The whole thing just kind of melts in your it mouth. It really does. And it's bacon, and beef, and blue cheese, mm. and onions. <laughs> Ashley, these are something else. Well Thank done. Thank you. So to make the ultimate bacon burgers, start by grinding eight ounces of bacon in a food processor to a fine paste. Then cook it quickly in a skillet and mix with one and a half pounds of ground beef. Shape the burgers, pressing a divot into the centers, and grill over a hot fire. Fill the divot with blue cheese while it's still on the grill and serve with caramelized onions and toasted buns. From Cook's Country, the ultimate recipe for bacon burgers. Oh, <laughs> I'm in the heart of it now. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>